day, folks. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sounds like the man who took too many charges. No, not enough. Okay. Kyle, was this sort of matter of uh, of a uh, whatever it takes kind of finish? Uh, the way you yes. stepped up, Max stepped up, <laughs> stepped up. Can you just take us through sort of the pandemonium and how you guys found a way? I don't think it was like pandemonium. I think it was just you know, um, kind of you know, finding a way, attacking, being a little bit more aggressive. I mean, they 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 had control pretty much the whole game, but um, you know we. You know, UD came in and gave us a great lift. Max, you know, is continuing his great play, his shooting. Tyler hit a big, big shot. He's continuing to, you know, grow. Um, you know, it's just, like you said, it's just finding a way. What the pandemonium was just, you know, attacking, getting to our spots a little bit better, a little bit more assertive. And, um, you know, two big shots, one by um, Tyler and then a big, big shot by Max. Kyle, you guys took six charges as a team today, which I think is the most in a single game for across the league in the last three years or so. Um, I, we know that's what you do, but why do you think taking the charge has become such a thing for everybody, the collective? Uh, it's We don't have like shot blockers like that, so we got to find ways to protect the paint. <laughs> that's why I take charges. Um, but I think it's just you know one of the things where you know, it's kind of a – contagious type thing and, and helping and being at the right spots and, and and doing things and sacrificing your body in somehow way and a charge is deflating to you know the opposing team uh Spell also said his favorite play of like the game the season was the double charge <laughs> well, it's not a double charge <laughs> i got the charge uh, but it was a it was a great play um by both of us, you know, and, you know, I'm stepping in and then you got, you know, a guy who's been in this league, you know, three-time champion, 19 seasons, one team, you know, the you know, OG, you know, it's awesome for him to be able to, you know, and want to step in and, and sacrifice his body, you know, kind of gives you some, you know, motivation and spirit of what you're doing. You guys continue to plug in holes, but now with Dwayne possibly out or missing time, I mean, how from your view, how do you feel about just kind of the front court depth behind him and how if you guys have to play without Bam and him, you can kind of fill that? Well, we'll see what the, you know, we don't know exactly what's wrong or whatever. Um, hopefully it's nothing too serious. Um, you know, we we got to figure it out. And, you know, like I said, UD has done a great job. You know, O, o is getting better. Um, you know, and then we can go small with KZ. Um, you know, hopefully PJ is not out too long, but we'll see what happens with that. And, you know, it's kind of one of the things where we will have to mix and miss and match, mix and match how we play games and who we're playing against and what the situation is called for. You know, we may have to go small. We may have to play big. You know, who knows? We just got to be ready to, uh, like you said, next man up type thing. Uh, kind of following up that, Kyle, how have you guys been able to be so successful that coming over the mental and emotional hurdle of seeing your guys be lost in the middle of a game? Uh, sucks. I mean, but, you know, we're professionals. You know, we still got to do our job. No one's going to feel bad for us. <laughs> you know, whatever happens, you know, injuries, you know, this, that, the other. No one's going to feel bad for us. Um, it's just got to find ways to win basketball games. All right, Kyle, thank you. Hey, you guys. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy holidays. Kwanzaa, you know, Hanukkah. Two days off is a holiday.